Let's go to the Pentagon now. This is the press secretary speaking. We'll just see if they start talking about these two people killed in Poland. Thank you very much. Um, this, and realize this is going to be irritating, but I know you said you don't have any information on the Russian strikes. Um, is there any suggestion or sense that the U.S. believes this is not accurate? Are you looking into it? Uh, can you give us just some sense of whether or not um, these reports are deemed believable and what, if any, calls may be happening right now? Yeah, thanks very much, Lita. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, right now, uh, we are aware of the press reporting on this. Uh, we have no information at this time to corroborate those reports, but again, are, are taking them seriously and looking into them. And so um, I will make sure that we provide you with any updates as soon as we have them. Do you have a follow-up, Lita? Um, I, just one quick uh, sort of unrelated follow-up um, to that. Um, we're, do you have any estimate on the number of Russian troops that are currently in Ukraine? Um, is it 100,000, fewer than 100,000? Can you give us any sense of that? Yeah, we'll pull up uh, that there. Pat Ryder speaking from uh, Arlington in Virginia. He obviously doesn't know much about what's going on at the moment. So um, the uh, American authorities still investigating those reports this morning of what may well be a stray Russian missile or rocket strikes that have hit Poland a NATO member, two of them in fact, whether it was intentional or unintentional, all of those answers will have to be revealed at a later time. Uh, not much detail coming from the Pentagon at this stage.